Hello, thank you for joining in. Today we are going to discuss about sample function in R. Have you ever thought of generating data randomly or shuffling them? If you have, then you must have encountered sample function before. Let's start first with documentation. Sample takes a sample of the specified size of elements of x using either with or without replacement. Here x is the vector of elements from where we want to choose size number of elements with or without replacement. By default replace is false which can be set as true if you need sampling with replacement. You could also assign probability arguments indicating possibility of each vector being sampled. I'll explain all of these parameters one by one using examples. Let us select four random elements from 1 to 10. So here x is the vector from where we want to select elements and size is 4 since we want to select four elements from 1 is to 10. So if you print 1 is to 10 you get first 10 numbers and from these 10 numbers we want to select four random elements okay as replace is false we do not get any repeated elements here in the same example if we set replace as true we get repeated elements with replace equal to true. Now when you do it means that select 10 elements from the vector 1 is to 5. This would result in an error since by default replace is false and it is not possible to select 10 unique elements from the vector which has only five elements in it. If we add replace equal to true then it will give us an output with repeated elements. Now let's look at the probability argument. When you do we are saying that select any one random element from 1 is to 1 to 4. If you do this for a lot of times, we set replace equal to true. So these are the numbers selected from 1 to 4 million times. Now we count them using table and divide them by another million to get the ratio. We can see that all of them have the equal probability of approximately 25%. That is because since we have not mentioned probability argument but by default it gives equal probability for all of them. But we can overwrite this and specify the probability argument. So here if you see that we are giving the probability argument as this which means that the probability of selecting 1 is 40%, the probability of selecting 2 is 20%, probability of selecting 3 is 30 and probability of selecting 4 is 10%. If you sum this it comes out to be 1. Okay, so when you, we run this a million times again and then divide it by million, let's see what we get. As expected, we get 40% of the times, we get 2 approximately 20%, 3 30% and 4 10%, same as what we had set initially. So with probability argument, so with probability argument, you can assign weights to the occurrence of each and every value present in x. As mentioned earlier, the sum of these four values came out to be 1. Now what if 
we change it to something which is not one maybe this this is some is less than one or this in this case the sum is greater than one what would be the output in this case would it result in an error or would it give an incomplete output think about it i'll post answer to this in the description of the video you can have a look later moving on what would you expect this to return as per all the above methods till now since the x here has only five and we want only one element from it we would expect that it would return only five but you'll be surprised with the answer that you get you get three you get one you get four you get everything why this happens the answer to this is in the documentation here it mentions that if x has length one which is true in this case here length of vector is only one it is numeric and x is greater than or equal to one yes five is greater than or equal to one sampling where sample takes place from one is to x okay so what happens is when you have vector of only length one the sampling takes place from one is to five here so this is same as doing this hence you need to be extra careful when you have only one number in sample as it might give you unexpected results and anyway a point to note here is if you want to sample from only one number do you really need sample I hope this video was useful and if you have any feedback, comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you soon.